Hey guys, so it's been two months since I've bought makeup. Two. <laughs> I think this is the longest I've gone without buying makeup. Anyways, here's my two month no buy update. All right, so those of you, if this is your first time seeing any of my videos, um, name's Ashley and I am on a year long no buy. I am no buying makeup, um, color cosmetics products, that type of thing um i'm low buying everything else okay so i'll link my um intro no buy year video here or y'all yeah, wherever they put in this thing again wherever they're putting this thing okay so um started my no buy january 1 2019 haven't bought makeup since the end of december um 2018 i did the whole panic buy you know we do that um and so did that that's the last time i bought makeup um i do have one exception that i can buy which is lashes and i bought lashes last month i haven't bought any lashes for february so how has it been going this month was, was hard okay this month was hard so i do i am kind of plugged into the community quote-unquote community um of folks that are kind of doing no buys this year and a lot of people are saying that this month was easier this month wasn't as whatever for them i'm not gonna lie this month was hard for me i filled up many a cart <laughs> filled up many a cart and yeah i for well i know a lot of people are kind of unplugging um stepping away from the kind of new releases and that kind of stuff but i still want to be in tune with everything i still want to know what's going on i do run a separate ig page makeup manners for women of color where i do kind of post kind of new releases and that kind of stuff so i kind of need to stay kind of kind of keyed in to what's going on right so that may be part of the problem <laughs> that may be part of the problem um but i this month was hard i didn't get to the point where i was like f it i'm going to buy this makeup right but like i i i'm starting to see where i have gaps in my collection and i'm starting to see as big as my collection is i still have gaps in it right and i'm starting to see you know when i do buy makeup again what i want you know what i want to invest in well yeah and Quote unquote invest in so um yeah the the few items that have kind of made me pause uh the sonia g face set even though it's a car payment even though it's a car payment uh i paused and i said "Ooh, i do need some new brushes D need is relative right i don't need them at all i don't because i have brushes you know i have enough brushes i did my face today with brushes that work just fine right so i don't need them need them but i do want new brushes if that makes sense the brushes that i have are you know they're they're i don't want to it, like <laughs> talking about it kind of makes me like ugh. but that that the sonia g face set gave me pause um the natasha denona face bloom bloom palette gave me pause uh it's just it's beautiful <laughs> it's beautiful like it's just so pretty and i mean i haven't gone through uh, my face highlight blush those pal palettes and products yet um on the channel but i i have a fair amount of blushes i have a fair amount of i have a t way too many highlighters so again something i don't need but want right and again like i said last month a lot of the products a lot of the things that i'm wanting aren't limited edition of course what is limited edition anymore there's nothing that is truly limited edition anymore because i mean a lot of the things that were limited edition last year are still around and still available and yeah so 
but like the bloom palette is not limited edition it's permanent um sonuji's brushes aren't limited edition they i mean they go out of stock and come back in just because they are handmade but they are brushes that um are around so that's a plus that's a plus but this month was hard i filled up a whole color pop cart they had um singles for like three dollars and that is really i think the direction that i'm going to want to take my collection um once i do start buying makeup again is kind of investing in singles um that i'm missing colors that i'm missing as far as eyeshadows and I've, I think I've said this in all of the videos, eyeshadows are kind of my vice. They're kind of where I get my rocks off. <laughs> and that's, oh God, but it, they're, they're what I like, right? So every, a lot of the things, a lot of the things on my list, I am keeping a list of things that I would have just gone, purchased, done, buy, bought or whatever, or eyeshadows. Um, but yeah, so this month was hard. Um, I, I don't know if I'm not at the point yet where like, okay. So for me, a lot of times I like, I've said this in other things, like I don't, I don't really shop. I'm not a clothes person. I'm not, I don't have a lot of other things that I spend money on, you know, besides my daughter. And so makeup was that thing that, you know, I shopped for, you know, that, you know, I would stroll the aisles and Sephora, that kind of stuff. So I didn't have too many other things that I would spend money on. So a lot of times when I did spend money on, let's say clothes or something, I got an outfit, I would think of it in terms of, oh, like I spend $75 on an outfit or over $100, $120 on an outfit or something. I would think of it in terms like, oh, that's a Pat McGrath palette or, oh, that's a new foundation. You know, like things equated to makeup in my head because that's what I spent my money on. I'm not at the point yet where I am out of that thinking. Um, so there's that. I'm not at the point yet where I don't want anything. And I, I hear people saying that they are not like wanting things. I'm like, bruh, I don't think I'll ever get to that point because I really like makeup. <laughs> I really like makeup. I mean, the, I in my head, common sense wise, I know that there's things that I don't need. Like I know I don't need any high, more highlighters. And I do believe once I'm done with my no buy and I continue into, cause I think from this, I'm gonna go into a low buy and kind of have, you know, set things that I can buy or set amounts that I can spend something or another, we'll, we'll tackle that January, 2020. But um, I think that as I go into that, that, you know, there are certain things that I know that I won't need, I won't want, I won't, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> the struggle is still real. I'm still, I'm still, it's, it's still a struggle. I haven't given in yet. Um, but JD, for instance, JD Glow is coming out with press multi-chrome pigments. I don't, I don't own any multi-chrome pigments. Um, never bought the loose ones because I prefer not to have loose pigments anymore. I have a fair, fair amount of loose pigments in my collection, but they are, I don't think I've bought loose pigments since 2020 or 2020, 2012 or 2013. So they're not something that I buy now. Um, and a lot of the multi-chrome pigments that have come out, um, in the last, year or so because multi-chrome you know they have the shift at least three times multi right so a lot of those that have come out in the last year or so have been loose pigments uh i did see like chaos makeup press the pigments um but they're always out of stock and they cost an arm and a leg and then what this week i'm filming this on the 23rd i think this week, JD Glow put up um, 
they're pressed multi-chrome pig pigments. And in my immediate thought was, okay, well, I'm buying this. No buy or not, I'm buying this. Because one, JD Glow, you get it, and then it'll be out of stock for months. Two, this is what I've been wanting. Like, I've wanted these for months. Like, months and months and months. Months of Sundays, right? And then three, I want them. <laughs> like, there's no... Wow. Um, so, yeah, I even posted in our makeup group, well, deuces to the no buy because these will be mine, you know. So I haven't got out of that thinking where it's where I don't want makeup, you know. So we'll see. That's why I'm doing it for a year or I'm hoping to do it for a year. Um because I want to see if I can change that kind of compuls com compulsory, compulsive um, kind of mine. I need you. Mine. I want you type thinking. Um, for March, March is going to be really tough because I am going to the makeup show. Makeup show is coming to Houston and I go every year or I try to go every year. And this year they're coming to Houston. They're to, usually they're in Dallas but it's right in my backyard and so i bought my tickets last year i went and i spent a grip like i spent a grip and i mean i got really good stuff and stuff that i still continue to use but i spent a grip and this year i i i want to go because i i do like going for the classes um danessa myricks is teaching um Sam Fine is teaching. Um, God, what's that other person? <sighs> God, I can't remember her name. But she does Taraji P. Henson's makeup, I believe. Ashanta Sher Sher something. Anyways, um, she's teaching also on the Saturday. And I'm definitely going to Saturday. I did buy a two-day ticket, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to go on, on, um, on the Sunday. But... I'm going to have to try to not buy anything, <laughs> especially brushes, because I just I like I need a new blush brush. All the blush brushes I have are they're scratchy. Like maybe it's in my head that they're scratchy because they weren't scratchy last year. But this year they're scratchy and I just want some new blush brushes like I just want new brushes. Um, so we'll see. But I'm going to have to try my best not to buy anything. I think I'm just going to, I, maybe I'll leave my debit card in. The, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But there's that. So that's really going to test all of the willpower that I have. Like all of the willpower that I have will go towards um, not buying makeup at the makeup shop. <laughs> who goes to the makeup show and doesn't buy makeup this girl um so y'all y'all send me your vibes send me your good vibes your strong vibes you know makeup buying vibes or whatnot but yeah so that was month two of the no buy i mean i feel good i haven't gotten to the point where you know i am over it i still want to do it um I still see the benefit in it. My hair looks really good. I'm growing back my hair, right? Which is why this is, looks like this. Because I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to grow out a mohawk. And it's the most difficult thing in my life. <laughs> Jesus. Um, anyways, so month two went well. And I actually did good on everything else. I do have to buy um, some skincare. My first clean or my first evening cleanse, my oil cleanser, I'm out of. Um, I was using the Hamish cleansing balm. I finished that this week. Um, so I'm using some leftover pre-cleanse from Dermalogica that I had. But I do have to buy a new one. And so I will be picking that up. Um, what I'm really fighting against, especially when it comes to skincare, is I just I just buy. Like, oh, I want to try this. I just want to try this. I want to try this. I just want to try this. And I need to kind of, like, I'm fighting against it because they're I don't I don't need it <laughs> I don't need it I have a pretty good skincare routine I have things that I like um and I just need to repurchase what I 
like, you know, instead of trying new things. So there's that. So, uh, yeah, but I've been doing good with everything else, not buying housewares and all that jazz or whatever. So February was good. February is good. It was tough, but it was good. And I think my, my only thing is if two months in has been kind of, what is six months in going to look like, you know? So we shall see. Anyways, if you have, or if you're on the know my, um, know my, if you're on a no buy for 2020 or part of 2020 or low buy or whatnot, let me know how you're doing in the comments because, yeah, your girl needs some company. <laughs> your girl needs some company in the struggle. Um, let me know. Have you bought anything? Um, whatever. And if you have, uh, to me, I equate this a lot with dieting and exercise, which has been non-existent in my life. Um, I also need to get back on that bandwagon. <laughs> Lord, Jesus, help me. Um, you know, if you have been on a, if you were on a no buy, you slipped up and bought something, just start the no buy over. Like you slip up, you eat a burger, just go back on your diet, you know? So I equate it to the same thing. Um, so anyways, hopefully I don't slip up and yeah. So let me know how you've been doing. Um, Y'all follow me on all my social medias, Ashley Christina, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, ev everywhere. And then my blog, AshleyChristina.com. Um, all right. All right, guys. So I will talk to y'all later. Bye.